Anyway, guys, welcome to tonight's call. And we got some good stuff for you guys. And like I say, a lot of times when we go over some of this stuff, it is actual stuff that we're in the process of using. So we, we try to show you physical results. It's not like, oh, I heard of this stuff that we've done and how we're getting results back. So with that being said, guys, we're going to talk tonight about using social media and some of the think how can i do this how can i get out of it how can i create a situation uh, that's going to grow my business not wait for someone else to tell me how what can i do and then trying it we do stuff all the time and we have no idea if it's going to work or not sometimes it doesn't work so you know what we don't do it anymore we try and come up with something else but we're trying to figure it out what's going to work best because my friends aren't your friends your friends aren't her friends so we got a whole bunch of people we're reaching out to and it's going to work for different different age groups or whatever you want or even cultures so um with that being said we're going to talk about some of the stuff that we've done and uh, some of the stuff that you guys can use so have your phones ready guys because you're going to want to take some photos of some of the stuff that we're actually posting and try it out does that sound fair you guys want to try some stuff out we got a whole week Next Sunday, we can talk about the stuff that we did and didn't do. All right, as independent business owners. So with that being said, my wife, my queen here, um, gonna go over some of the stuff that she just tried today. And it was like, the response she got was like crazy. And I was just like, holy crap, this is really going good. So. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Cause, okay. So here's the thing. I can't remember if it was, um, Stephen, Stephen Payton. Payton or Nakota Bragg, maybe you guys can remember, um, who said, as far as listening to Darren Hardy and different people, different leaders, yeah, you can do that. He says, but everything you need is just the leaders themselves. If you listen to ACN leaders, you'll get all the information you could possibly need, right? Yep. Uh, one of them said that. And I thought about that. I have so many recordings. Um, okay. Oh, Brian. Okay. Brian. Brian Shanks. Shanks. Thanks okay. Of them. okay. Someone's Thank thinking. You. So he had said that, and I remember that. Okay, so that stood out to me. I go, oh my gosh, I have so many recordings back from years ago, 2014 and prior. So I said, why don't I go back and listen to some of these recordings? Well, guess what? I did. And one of the recordings was we were on at the time was TC, which is today RD position. And you had to earn, obviously, to be on these, these calls, right? So I listened to one of these of somebody, he was actually um, one of the Mazer brothers, and he was talking about how one of his business partners was getting like 60 points, got 60 points super fast, and was like, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? Like, how are you getting so many customers? And so this is what, instead of me explaining all the details, I'm going to play it back. It's not too long and kind of hear what he says. And even though the, the charity was back then, it was we'll play for food. So that's when they say we'll play for food. It's actually now, of course, we know it's Project Feeding Kids, but that's what he, at the time, that's why he says that. So I'm going to share my, um, screen. my score. Actually, I don't know if I necessarily need to share my screen. We just need to get the, get it going. So let me do this real quick. Um, okay. So let me listen to, and hopefully you guys can hear this. Okay. So it's right here. I view you in this company by what you've done to earn the right to be on today's call. And, you know, as I'm sitting back listening to Patrick and talk about his vacation on the President's Club and, you know, getting a chance to listen to the other leaders talk about how their life has been changed based on the ACN opportunity. But there's one underlying theme I've heard every single time that, today, and that is work. Meaning putting their head down, focusing, doing the things necessary to climb through the marketing plan to be at the level of success that they're experiencing today. So I want to congratulate everybody that's already spoke uh, for their leadership and their dedication to making ECN the greatest opportunity on planet Earth. And don't be mistaken, that's what our goal is as a company to be the largest direct seller uh, and the largest multi-level marketing or direct sales company on the planet. And you on the line here today are going to play a major factor in the expansion of this opportunity globally. And, you know, as I was talking to Mr. Mike Kane, 
uh, Mr. Tony Cooper, the other co-founders, Mr. Larry Raskin. You know, one of the things that I've noticed over the last couple of weeks, and this is something that you know has really blown me away. I mean, 13 years in the ATN opportunity, uh, it's been the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, the personal growth, uh, everything that goes along with this opportunity, uh, far beyond money. Now, don't get don't confused. I think y'all can agree. We get involved initially with the money, and then when the money is out of the way, that's where the fun begins because it's all about helping other people. And I think the sooner we come to that mental conclusion, the faster all of us are going to have success all over the world is putting other people first. So, you know, as I went through my report and, you know, seeing different people that get promoted, whether it be from an ETT to an ETO, all the way up to regional vice president, I, all, I also look at my promotions when it comes to customer acquisition. And, you know, I noticed that there was a, a one individual been involved for a very, very short time uh, in the opportunity and well over 70 customers. And, you know, when, when that happens, you know, understand that sometimes negative and sometimes positive. And what I mean is I, I wanted to pick up the phone and just make sure that this individual was doing it the right way. You know, I think we can agree as leaders, you know, our job is to protect our opportunity and protect the people in our organization and make sure that, you know, are they doing the right thing? Uh, for the opportunity, and are they doing the right thing for their distributorship? So, you know, I picked up the phone, I gave this individual a, a call, and I said, hey, listen, I'm Senior Vice President, Patrick Mish, to meet you. Hey, congratulations on, you know, customer acquisition. I see you've got a number of customers. If you don't mind, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing to acquire customers? And, you know, this individual talked a little bit about what they were doing, and let me tell you what they were doing. They were taking the Will Play for Food video and they were letting people watch it and getting people emotionally involved in being a customer. And, and you know, the individual said, he said, listen, out of everybody I talked to, I let them watch this video. And at the end of this video, they get so compassionate about, you know, the, the fact that there's hungry children today that are going to bed today without not having enough food. And here we have an opportunity to do something about it with this will play for food and how you can assist in feeding a child as you can become a customer. And, and you know what was fascinating about this, it, it just literally blew my mind that he wasn't having anybody say no because he had a reason to get them to say yes, an emotional reason, something that's higher than making money, a nobler cause than just putting money into a bank but to be making a difference. And this is a total radical transformation than anything I've seen in 13 years when it comes to customer acquisition. So, you know, I'm very, very uh, protective of the way that we do ACN, meaning we promote a system, and our system is extremely protected, and we don't like to implement or do anything without us as leaders going out and beta testing it ourselves. I mean, can we agree? We've got to go out and test things ourselves before we bring it to the people in our organization in case it doesn't work. So, you know, as I get off the call and talking to this individual, you know, there I go out and I started talking to people at the gym and, you know, I met a couple of individuals and they said, you know, what are you doing? I said, well, you know, one of the things that I do that I'm extremely passionate about is I'm so in a company that our goal is to feed children in America. And there's 17 million of them that are going to bed tonight hungry. And we found a way that we can do something about it. I said, do you mind if, if I get your phone number? And I'd like to send you just a quick little video that explains what I do. And I believe if you understood what I do, you would probably be as passionate as I am about being children. And they would like that, you know, no problem. Send them the video. Followed up with a phone call. Did you get a chance to watch it? They said, you know what? I had no idea that this epidemic was happening in our country. I love the idea that we're going to do something about it. What do you need me to do? And that gave me an opportunity to break into the services and how we partnered with this company. And this company is now providing meals for children based on us spending money on services all of us have in our home and our businesses. And the second thing, and this was even more fascinating, one of the people that I sent the video to picked up the phone, called Will Play for Food, and donated money. 
So, you know, not that that's what we want to see happen, but what that showed me is the power of the will play for food opportunity, guys. And, and, you know, when you take this to a cause-based company, where we're doing something noble, we're doing something honorable, that we can take this conversation to the masses, I believe we have something on our hands that is absolutely bigger than all of us can really wrap our head around here on today's call. And, you know, when you think of the cost, and you think of the, the, the children that are going to bed hungry, and we can do something about it, this is going to be absolutely incredible. And, you know, ACN is crafting a training for us. You know, these guys are putting something together at the global headquarters that is going to be rolled out in San Jose, California. And what they're going to be able to do is give us a tool, give us an opportunity. All right. I, we'll cover that because we that was the main thing is making sure you guys heard that. So hold on real quick. Now, let me do this. I actually, because that was back then, it was uh, We'll Play for Food. Now we have, of course, Project Feeding Kids. So I found a really good video. Now, keep in mind, there's other videos. If you just go on to YouTube, there's a three minute video that you can send people that again, the idea is remember, we people make decisions first on emotion and then they back it up with logic. So I'm gonna share this video that maybe this is something you guys can send to people, have that conversation about being passionate about ending child hunger. Just what uh, Michael Mazur said about, if I send this to you, I believe you will be just as passionate as I am, right? So let me share my screen here. One of the things I've been most proud of through the years has been the ability to provide for my girls. To look into your child's eyes and know there's no need to worry. We've got this. We're good. But then it happened. We had a change of leadership. The economy started to go downhill. New management took over. When I first got my grandchildren, I was stressed out. I'm saying, oh God, here I am, my age, having to start all over with three little girls. We'd never ever been in a situation where we'd need help from anybody, where we weren't in control. And you say, well, I know my babies have to be fed. It's kind of hard to admit that you need a little help. I thought of myself as a person that donates to food banks, not as somebody who is going to be using one. In the United States today, there is enough food to feed everyone, yet one in six people face hunger. Feeding America is a nationwide network of 200 food banks and 60,000 food pantries and meal programs that together provide more than three billion meals to families facing hunger each year. I honestly don't know what I would have done if the food pantry had not been there. The food pantry allowed me to provide for my family when we really needed it. It's made a huge difference in our life. Well, thank you. I'm thankful for food banks. The kids are going to have a better future because of the pantry. It's been a blessing in my life. For us, it was a stopgap measure. It kept us from falling deeper into poverty. Feeding America leads the movement to solve hunger by providing food to people in need, advocating for policies that protect families facing hunger, engaging the public in solving hunger in their communities, and working to help the people we serve achieve stability and food security. They've helped by just knowing that my kids are not gonna go hungry. Each time they filled my cupboards, I gained the confidence to step out into the world and look for something better. We have come a long ways from when we first started. I was able to get back on my feet, and now we can keep looking for jobs and work towards the future. Food is the fuel that helps people build a better life. As individuals, businesses, charities, and governments, we all have a role to play in making sure every family has enough to eat. Together, we can solve hunger. So that's emotionally moving, right? Because remember, we want to get people emotionally involved. So that is what I highly recommend. You circle back to people you know, get them involved in your cause, right? Get them emotionally involved so that you can grow your customer base, okay? 
Now, here's another thing that I just did. Um, I tried something different because again, you know, kind of just trying to think outside the box. I don't know if I shared this with you before, but I did something when a couple weeks ago, what, three weeks ago or so, and I may have shared this with you already, but T-Mobile had been hacked, yeah. right? And so I talked about that, you know, sending and um, putting something out there who has T-Mobile, right? So I got some people to respond that way, but I also did something different. So just recently last night, I sent, um, and I'm going to share my screen and show you what I posted on a few social media, Facebook uh, groups. I actually got removed, <laughs> but, but here's the good thing. I did it last night and I got removed. My post got removed. Okay. Cause I go, what happened to it? But here's the thing. I got 14 responses. Okay. But let me, let me share my screen so you can see what it is. I posted. It was worth it. Okay. Share screen. Okay, so let me see, let me find it. So I said, anyone willing to help with a yes, no, or circle a choice short survey with only 15 questions, need data for a national call, doing a drawing giveaway for $25 Amazon and 25 Starbucks gift cards to those willing to help out, okay? So I did this and I put it on a different, a whole bunch of groups. And I, like I said, so far I had gotten 14 responses from people and I've already, thankfully, before that, that message got removed from that group, um, I was able to um, respond to these people. And then I'm going to show you what it was that I said back to them. So let me do this. So once they um, said, yeah, sure, this is what I said. So I'd respond back to them generically and say, you know, hi, Amy, thank you so much for helping me out. Here's the questions. Thanks again for your support. And I will let you know if you're one of the winners by Tuesday. So here's the questions. If you guys want to put these, take a picture or something. So here's the 15. Do you know if any of your personal information has been compromised? Yes or no? Do you have identity theft and antivirus protection? Yes or no? If yes, with who? Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how important is your credit score? One, not important. 10, very important. On a scale of one to 10, how important is it to you? Uh, cyber criminals do not have access to your personal information. Do you travel a lot? Yes or no. Do you use social media? Yes or no. Do you shop online? Yes or no. Do, have you ever used public Wi-Fi? Yes or no. Have you ever shopped online and received web ads for whatever you search for? Yes or no. Do you keep important and personal information on your device such as tax returns or financial docs? Yes or no. Were you aware, aware that your login password can be accessed by cyber criminals? Yes or no. Someone becomes a victim of identity theft every, choose one, every 60 to 60 seconds, two seconds or 30 seconds, okay? How many people are having um, their identity stolen? Choose one, one in five, one in 10 or one in three. And then I put Apple or Android. And were you one of the 147 million people affected by Equifax breach in September, 2017, yes or no? So do you understand where I'm going with this? Obviously. So what I'm doing is it's an indirect way to educate people about identity theft. And, and what? I was going to say, and this was DM. This was direct message to the yes. people that said they wanted so to I take sent part. Them, yes, I sent them a direct message um, with these, few, these questions right here. And so now I'm going to be back. I'm going to go back to them. And we, of course, thank them so much because I've gotten people already responding back to the survey. And so I'm going to let them know, obviously, educate them, right, on the information they don't know, like obviously how often uh, identity theft is happening um, and as well as, you know, the things that they didn't know, right? Because if they're wrong, guess what? I want to educate them on this information, right? So this is going to be, this is an open door for me to be able to educate people on um, antivirus as well as cyber crime that's happening, right, with the identity theft, okay? So this was just one way that I thought, hey, how can I get people in, you know, um, involved, but indirectly educate them without just straight out educating, you know, telling them, hey, da, 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 right? So this is one idea. You guys can think of perhaps some other ideas that you might be able to do with people. Um, let me see if there was other things that I wanted to share. Yes. Okay. So here's another thing too, I want to share. So anybody has people in their life that perhaps, um, maybe some charities, um, some organizations they partner with, 
Um, maybe let's see what else, like somebody that, um, okay. So let me just share like my daughter, she actually is a pit bull advocate. She, what she does is she fosters uh, animals like dogs and so forth. So she works with Fresno Bully Rescue and things like that. So she right now has probably over maybe 600,000, maybe 500,000 followers on her Instagram right now, okay? So one of the things, one of our missions is to partner, find some part people that have some form of influence, maybe a broker, partner with a broker, right? And then, you know, hey, I'll refer business to you. You can refer people to me. Well, with her, her passion obviously is dogs. So here's what I did. So let me stop sharing and I'm going to share again what it was that I'm giving her to post on her social media wall. So here's what I, I, I wrote up for her. So it says, if you're protecting them, who's protecting you, right? Because she has all these dogs, you know, like um, dog followers, right? So one in three people are hacked. We knew it was not if we would be compromised, but when. Without maintaining good credit, we realized we wouldn't be able to even have a home for our pups. That's why we signed up for identity theft and antivirus protection. For anyone who would like more information or like to also get protected, please call or text Rose, and there's my number. For every order, our organization will get $5 per sign up, which will help us further our animal fostering and awareness, okay? So, and then I am right below that, below that I said, please, uh, please uh, mention uh, pubs or pity or something like that. Um, so pibbles. I, we, pibbles, pibbles, so we can get credit, okay? So she's going to post this on her social media with all those millions or, you know, that hundreds of thousands of followers, which is awesome. You know, so this is the thing that think outside the box, who could you partner with and say, hey, look, I'll give you, you know, whatever. <laughs> five dollars or two dollars or a dollar whatever per referral that you send to me because keep in mind every three remember three referrals you get 75 dollars um five customers you get 200 and so on right and then from there every three you get an additional 200 dollars. so trust me we can do this and you can do this too so this is the thing is think outside the box think a little be a little creative find people that would like to be able to get some you know, maybe, um, you know, as far as some type of income, as far as, a, you know, $5, $10, whatever it is that you decide to do for their organization, their charity, nonprofit, whatever it is that you can think of that you can say, hey, would you be willing to put something up on your wall, your Facebook, your Instagram, and I'll give you this, okay? So this is what we're super excited about. My husband actually has um, his brother, let me stop sharing here. And he has his brother who's a broker for real estate, right? And guess what he's working on doing right now? He's working on putting what? Go ahead and share that, the writing. So putting something together because they already have a concierge service, you said. And I said, but this is more of a personal concierge service. So you're helping from the point one, getting into their new home because it's it's a, um, a, develop, a, a develop, so developing site. And from there, you're taking them all the way to their services and everything else. So what that's going to do is it's going to protect their home, protect their people, protect everything. So as they sit down with these uh, new home buyers, they're actually, when they sign all their documents, their paperwork says that they can give their phone number to us legally so we can actually call them and talk to them. We're part of the concierge service to make sure you get all your services signed up. So for each home that sells, guess what? We're getting a name and number. And he has he has a subdivision too. Yep. So it's not just new homes because he's in real estate, but he's a broker. So yep. he works with subdivisions that are new homes that are getting built out. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Be strategic. Who could you partner with that, you know, you can say something like that. I'll do this. You do this, that type of thing. Refer business. That's huge. So the other partnership you guys want to look into is someone who does home and vehicle um, insurance. Reason why is those people do commercial insurance. And so for the, a lot of those commercials, uh, uh, commercial businesses that need coverage. So for instance, um, I get a phone call, gives me a name and number of a guy who needs to get the discounts for the services, right? So he needs business security for his business and cameras. So that's an automatic feed. People are, are going to her for insurance, but they need me to get the discounts. It's a partnership. So 
So how many people do you know out there? If you don't know them, get to know them and start where that's just an additional partnership you got. And that's unlimited. I mean, people are coming to these guys all the time and they need, but you, you want them to say, Hey, go to ADT or you get your insurance or whatever you want them get. You want to get the phone number and call them. Hey, I'm here to call you to, to get you all set up. So you can get your discounts for insurance. So it's just about being on top of the, being ahead of the game or being ahead of the wave before it hits you. So, yeah. Yeah. So one of our, one of our coaches said, be strategic. Like when somebody buys a new house, what are the, who are the first people like that are there? So we were, we were, we were thinking, okay, maybe a painter, right? Maybe a lawn person, a movers, right? Who are these people when they're first located or moving into a house, who are these people, those first people? So we were, we're trying to find partners with all these people that are the first two, maybe pest control people. Um, you know, people like that, that we're all finding, yeah, anybody that think outside Long service, pool service, yep, pest all control. those who you can find that he, one person that you can partner with and say, Hey, let's refer business to, right? You, you live here in California, Central Valley, heating and air conditioning. I just, mm -hmm. it's just, it's unlimited, but you got to start thinking, where can you get a, a where it's going to generate and put customers in your funnel all the time that for people in your funnel that come out customers and business partners. Yep. Yep. So, all right. So that's our time. So now we have a reason to be able to go get customers through emotional attachment there. Right. So there's no reason for us to hopefully next week, let's maybe have some success stories of people saying, I used it. I tried it. It worked. I'm this many more customers, right? That's the goal is to grow our customer base and help our team to do the same. I will share one more thing. Um, yeah, bring, I, we just bring this up. Just bring yeah, this up. I'm going to bring this up real quick for ID Seal because so, I was looking at the new um, documents. I don't know if, it, if you guys have all been in your back office already. So this is in your back office. So look, so see what it says? Conversation, Conversation starters, overcoming objections. Because we all do this. It's like, do you ever use public Wi-Fi such as a coffee shop, retail store, airport, or hotel? I don't use public uh, Wi-Fi or travel. You always got those people, you know, oh, I don't breathe there. I don't eat food. You always have those people. Well, guys, here's some great responses, but reading this, knowing this and making yourself aware will help you in your response. This is a whole list. Go ahead and go through that, babe. Yeah, there's, there's several so conversation, conversation starters. starters and overcoming the objection. That's all right there. Yeah. Browser track scanner or digital fingerprint. I mean, sensitive document fault. It says, I have nothing to hide. I've heard that before. And it's just like, this is a good, here's one. a good one right here. Did you know that you might be watched or listened to from camera on your PC or phone? So now I will tell you this right here. This is really, really great. I will tell you this feature is for Android. It's not for a uh, Mac. So I don't know if you guys, let me do this too. I want to see if, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this though. If I minimize, because this is great. You guys, I don't know if you've seen this already. So basically what it is, it shows all the features of, of the antivirus and what, what um, specific devices like Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. And it'll tell you which ones have the feature, like the VPN, it'll tell you, the antivirus, and it'll show you which devices. So this right here, this actually, we got an email. So everybody who has... Um, identity theft protection should have gotten this right here. So this is good to know for your customers as mm. far as what their device is, whether they have a Mac and what they're going to get as far as say, for example, Mac, they're going to get an ad blocker. They're going to get the tracking blocker. They're going to get, and it'll show, okay, the digital, digital fingerprint. fingerprint yeah. And certain things apply for certain devices and other things do not. So for example, the whole um, the webcam is not for um, iPhones. It's going to be just for these two devices, which is the Windows and uh, Android. Androids. Okay. So just so you know, so this way you don't say, hey, this does this, but it may not do it for that particular device. Okay. So this is something that, again, you guys should have got notified or provided this from um, ACN or from the ID SIL when it launched. So just wanted to share that with you guys. So, all right, guys. So hope you got some good information tonight. Let it work. Yeah, let's go get some customers. Let's go our, grow our customer base.